It's Thursday afternoon and round six of the Australian men's interstate teams and matches. Queensland playing Tasmania. Beautiful afternoon at Brisbane Golf Club. Greens are firm and rolling very truly. The number seven game, Stephen Cox for Queensland. His third shot to the par five opening hole. Very nice shot, he was playing Paul Reed. Reed had built himself a three up lead after eight holes, but Cox won four holes straight on the back nine and would take that match two and one for Queensland. Pushed up the order slightly in the number five game, Charlie Dan. A huge drive down the first. This was only 100 metres in for his second shot to the par five. Set up a birdie. Some nice crowds watching. He was playing Mark Schulz, who halved the first hole in birdies, but Dan had built a four-up lead by the turn, maintained that all the way through, and won his match four and three. Mitch Smith for Queensland in the number four game. A birdie putt at the first. Hole got in the way quite nicely. He was playing Nathan Gatehouse, who hit this approach shot to the 14th, the par four. It was the best shot I think we saw all afternoon, a gimme birdie. Smith found the left edge of the green, had to make this 60 footer to try to halve the hole. Almost pulled it off, but he'd win the match one hole later, four and three. This is the number three game. Mitch Van Noord playing his third shot to the par 4 sixth. A beautiful shot. He was playing Charlie Pillen, who'd come up short at the eighth hole. Played this great little chip up the tier. This was to save par. The last revolution going into the hole. It uh, allowed him to stay two up at the time. He increased that lead on the back nine. And when Van Noord went long, on the 14th out of the bunker. That sealed the match. Five and four win for Charlie Pillen. Blake Proverbs for Queensland. A pass save on the opening hole. He was playing Sam Rawlings. Both players happy as they left that green. Rawlings just not quite able to get the putts to go for him. That was a chance at the eighth hole. But Proverbs this was set up a birdie at the ninth, gave him a one-up lead. And if you thought that was good, this was even better. A low punch under the tree at the 14th, running it all the way up the green, up the tier, to about five feet from the hole. That set up a birdie, and he'd win the match one hole later, four and three. Five wins already now for Queensland. This was the number one match, Greg Longmoor. A nice chip shot at the eighth hole, set up a par. Anthony Quayle led this game most of the way. This was his approach shot to the 14th with coach Tony Meyer on the bag. We saw Proverbs make a birdie here. Quayle did the same, one group later, and he'd win his match by the same margin, four and three. The one final match to finish was the number six game. Doug Klein almost holed out for an albatross there at the first from 115 metres after a, a massive drive to the par five. Hold his putt for an eagle. Had a little bit of trouble after that. This game was tight all the way through. Klein came to the last hole one up with the Queenslanders looking on. And the match finished under interesting circumstances. Andrew Phillips drove it in the trees, hit it in the bunker, made that putt for par. Klein found the fairway and the green, but three putted for bogey. So that game would finish all square. The final margin, Queensland winning six and a half to a half. And they're in the box seat to take on New South Wales in the final.